ifungua hizo vio rasmi kwa hivyo nakukaribisha sana nikisema kwamba hapa ulipo ni shauri moyo na jambo la kwanza ambaye ningekuomba mheshimiwa rais ni kwamba kuna ukosefu mkubwa wa kazi hapa shauri moyo vijana wanatafuta kazi unavosikia kwa hivyo tungependa wapewe nafasi ya mbele katika ujenzi wa mradi huu na miradi nyingine zinazofanyika hapa pili mheshimiwa rais kuna shida ya title deeds kuna vijiji kama Kenyago na Kanuku hao watu wamekuwa wakisubiri wapate title deed waanze ujenzi na maendeleo kwa muda wa miaka kumi. mpaka sasa hawajapata hapa katika eneo hili kuna blue estate ambaye ina shida zake na katika muda mfupi iliyopita wamekata sitima ya Kinyago na Kanuku hata msikiti ya Biafra haina sitima kwa sababu wale wanaotumia sitima vibaya lakini hawaangalii ni nani analipa na nani halipi wote wamekatiwa sitima mheshimiwa rais na pia hapa Blue Estate imekuwa haina sitima kwa muda wa mwaka mmoja hivi na kuomba utuchukulia hatua huko ili tuweze kuendelea mbele pili kwa sababu ya ujenzi huu mheshimiwa rais ningekuomba kwamba hakuna nafasi zaidi za shule naomba tuongezewe ujenzi wa heshima primary school our lady of mercy primary school pamoja na our lady of girls second school ambazo zinaweza kuhudumia watu wengi ambao watakuja kuishi katika mradi huu ukimalizika haya yote najua unaweza kwa sababu wewe ni mtu wa vitendo nilipokuwa natafuta kujenga shule ya sekondari ya zawadi idara ya elimu ilikataa ilisema ya karimbili haitoshi ukashika simu ukawambia Nairobi watapata ardhi ya kujenga wapi wapa wajenge juu na zawadi second school imejengwa juu na pia nikiomba sasa hivi nikiwa na microphone ni kwamba kuna child survival ambaye ina shule mbovu sana ya jamii. Ningiomba pia utusaidie na shule ya sekondari kwa sababu eneo hilo halina shule ya sekondari. Kwa haya machache mheshimiwa na kukaribisha na kwambia karibu hapa kwako nyumbani. Sisi tutakuwa pamoja na wewe ikiwa unaipeleka Kenya kimaendeleo na utategemea ungaji mkono wa watu wa Kamkunji katika hiyo kazi uliopewa na wananchi wa Kenya. Asante sana. Asante sana Mheshimiwa Yusuf. Uh, Your Excellency, allow me to make a special recognition. Amongst us here today, we have the Executive Director of UN Habitat. Uh, Executive Director UN Habitat, she's here with us and uh, like to recognize her for coming and uh, the partnership. We also have several partners. I'm not going to ask you to stand up, but uh, we recognize the presence of a CPF, County Pension Fund, uh, the Kenya Mortgage Refinance Company, the financial institutions here represented, I can see the captains of industry, the SACOs and cooperatives, NLC, Kenya Bankers Association, National Housing Corporation, National Industrial Training Authority, the Public Private Partnership Unit, Capital Markets Authority, Nairobi Securities Exchange, I see the CEO is here, Retirement Benefits Authority, National Security, Social Security Fund, Kenya Private Sector Alliance, Kenya Association of Manufacturers, Architectural Associations of Kenya, KPDA, Mutarakwa ABMT Housing Cooperative, Gokamka, Women in Construction, and Women in Real Estate. Your Excellency, as you can see, we have a long list of partners because this journey requires partners. Your Excellency, allow me now to invite a young man by the name of Sam Olo. Sam is one of the young people that we have trained at the State Department for Housing and is currently the chair of Mutarakwa Youth Harmony Cooperative. And they are going to be partnering with the developer to uh, bring the young people to build houses here. This is what, Your Excellency, people forget that this is not about four walls and a roof. This is about creating opportunities for our people, and we are going to have many Samo laws when this development is done. Sam, karibu. Yeah. 
His Excellency, President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, His Excellency, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Rigadi Gashagua, Rigiji, His Excellency, Governor of Nairobi County, Johnson Sakaja, uh, all CS and PS present, all protocols have observed. Good afternoon. My name is Samuel Olo. I'm the chairman of Mutarako Harmony Cooperative. It's a youth uh, cooperative that brings together artisans in the housing and construction industry, uh, be it the plumbers, the painters, the welders, the masons, uh, the electricians together with the common bond of youth uh, benefiting from the social youth, social economic empowerment of the youths and uh, ensuring that we have uh, safe houses in the country. Uh, in, in 2018, a building collapsed in Kariobangi South Estate and uh, P.S. Hinga visited the site and uh, we asked him very hard questions. So that led us to uh, meeting with him and uh, he guided us to have a training program on interlocking stabilized soil block technology we did that training for our members, and uh, we later partnered with Kenya Forest Service through the leadership of Chief Conservator of Forest, Mr. Julius Kamau. We did a, a guard house at Michuki Park, Memorial Park, and uh, we really appreciated the, the State Department of Housing for supporting us. Uh, fast forward, we appreciate being present here today We'll be, we'll be signing the MOU to be part of the, the Shaurimoyo housing, uh, affordable housing program. And uh, we really appreciate your excellency for standing with the youths of this country. And uh, we want to thank the, the State Department of Housing. I want, specifically, I want to thank uh, Director Gatana. I want to thank Director Jane. I want to thank... Uh, P.S. Hinga for standing with us. And finally, I want to thank you, His Excellency the President, for standing with the youth of this country in the affordable housing space and also in the other sectors of the climate change and political space and also in, uh, in uh, entrepreneurship and in innovation. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Bonaolo. We look forward to the many work jobs that are going to be created here. Your Excellency, there is a, around this same area of Eastlands, there is a group that we shall be introducing you and actually the Deputy President from Korogosho. These are ex-con young men that have come together and they've converted the river at Korogosho and uh, they're doing an amazing job, even as we talk about regeneration of our rivers. I think there is already an existing template. These young people, all they need is guidance, and they can be able to direct that energy to cleaning our rivers. Allow me now to invite the director of EPCO to come and make a few remarks. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto. Your Excellency, the Deputy President Honorable Rigati Gashagwa, the Governor and all elected leaders present, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone to our construction site here at Shauri Moyo A. Your Excellency, it is a great honor that you have graced this ground groundbreaking ceremony. We really appreciate your and your entire delegation's presence and commitment to this noble cause. The development will involve construction of over 3,000 housing units. It will be socially inclusive and will comprise of studio, one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedroom housing units. Further, it will be a sustainable developed neighborhood complete with all the supporting social amenities and physical infrastructure. In addition to the houses, the project will spur tremendous economic growth in this area. It will create over 5,000 jobs directly and indirectly during the construction and further support additional job sectors after occupation. Your Excellency, this development will accommodate over 
12,000 people. With such a population, the timely provision of adequate roads, water, electricity, and sewer connections to this project by the government will be key for the successful implementation of the project. Lastly, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate everyone for the progress made so far on the project. Your Excellency, we will continue to proudly partner with the government in implementation of the affordable housing agenda. And I've also not forgotten the instructions that you have given me earlier. Thank you and God bless you all. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Excellency, as you can see, uh, we have local capacity. This is a local developer putting in their local money, their own funding to build these houses. And uh, because I'm not going to come back again, Your Excellency, allow me, before I invite uh, the governor, to recognize other elected leaders who are, not, who are not MPs. I can see that we have representatives from the Senate you can just stand up and say hello, the two wonderful ladies. Thank you very much. So, Your Excellency, you have directed us to start public participation on a, about a, affordable housing. And I keep on asking myself, maybe because of public participation is not very clearly defined, can we not call this the beginning of public participation? Because there is no better forum than this one where you have got to explain to the people that these houses, you're going to pay the same amount of money you are paying for rent, but you're going to pay to own a decent house. I cannot think of any other better public participation. Uh, so, Your Excellency, thank you very much. We are also working very closely with our parliament and a special recognition to the chairman of our committee, uh, in Bunge, they're helping us, and I see member uh, Karauri, who was recognized earlier on. Thank you very much. God bless you. It's now my pleasure to invite uh, His Excellency, the Governor of Nairobi, to come and take over from here. Asanteni. Asante, Asante. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoy Ruto, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Rigadi Gashagwa, uh, Waziri, uh, Zak, your PS, members of Parliament, uh, Senator Karen Nyamu and Tabitha Mutinda, Mulisi Mamisho, but also Majina Yenu. Of course, Tukona Deputy Governor Wetu, Njoroge Mushiri, Ambaye Tukonae Hapa. Your Excellency, we have our Speaker of the Nairobi City County Assembly, uh, Honorable Ken Gondi, ambaye nitamkaribisha ili atujulishe our MCAs. We have all our MCAs uh, with us here today from the County Assembly of Nairobi. Bwana speaker karibu. Utueleze hao kwanza. Thank you His Excellency for the great honor this afternoon. His Excellency the Governor of Nairobi through uh, the honor of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, and His Excellency, our Deputy President, Rigadi Gachagwa. Present today is our members of the County Assembly, led by the Minority Leader, Honorable Kirago Anthony. Please, may you rise on your feet so that you may be recognized. There are quite several. Okay, I'm requested you may follow up a bit. Come forward, please, honorable members. Honorable minority, please, minority leader. His Excellency, we have the minority leader, Honorable Kiragu, in the house. Thank you for coming. We have the minority whip, Honorable Mushimua Roro, the last one in the house. We have uh, Honorable Aihenya. We have Honorable Susan Makungu. We have Honorable Hasim Kamau. We have Honorable Mark Dika. 
We have Nixon of Isili, Honorable uh, Petit the host, Honorable Mo Fire. Thank you. We have Honorable Kutoka Michael Alan Mwishmiwa. Alan Maita. Honorable Daktari Pato. Honorable Mwangi Waidera. Mwishmiwa Wasimaman Kimagi Kimani Mugo. Honorable Madam Beatrice. Thank you, Special Elect. Honorable Dabar Isili. Honorable Kumondo, the independent from Kwanjenga. Honorable Lydia, nominated uh, our special elect. Honorable Kutoka Maina, Kutoka Udiru. Mwishimua Joyce, uh, special elect. Also Mwishimua Martin, Mutuini Ward. Honorable Samora of uh, Clay City. Honorable Karis. Trabumeka, Rai Ward, Honorable Njogu Kawangware, Molem Ward, Wairobi Martin, Mweshimiwa Cecilia, our women leader in the city, thank you very much. Uh, we have a member of the speaker's panel, Honorable Katile, uh, second member of the speaker's panel. Mweshimiwa uh, Dr. Clement Kamau, Kawa West. Kia Michael Ward, Mweshimiwa Ndongo. Thank you, His Excellency. And thank you, His Excellency, the Governor, for the great honor. His Excellency, we undertake a commitment to work with your government and to make sure we get you good laws to uh, help you in, in carrying out uh, your vision and especially the agenda of the Jubilee government. Thank you very much for the great honor. Oh, Kenya Kwanza, the UDA. Thank you. But uh, His Excellency, you are still the Jubilee government. Coming from the background of the deputy president from the Jubilee government. Thank you. Thank you. Asante sana, Nikosawabu. Asante sana tupigie speaker wetu Makofi pamoja na viongozi wetu MCAs tuwapigie Makofi Asante ni sana kwa kutokea kwa wingi Your Excellency Nairobi County Assembly has amazing leadership hawa wabunge wetu wanafanya kazi pamoja wanafanya kazi pamoja bila kuangalia chama au kabila because they realize wale ambao tunaongoza wa Nairobi pia ni wa vyama vyote na kabila zote. Tuwapigie makofi mkae hivyo pamoja and we will keep working on that unity. Unity is not found in a day. We will keep working on it because your unity is what will make Nairobi shine. Mkae hivyo pamoja. Your Excellency, as the PS said, Shauri Moyo is a place of great history. In the 50s, you would find Tom Boyer, who was the first MP for Kamkunji, here in Shauri Moyo, you'd find Julius Nyerere over here, and you'd find Milton Obote in this neighborhood. The biggest pre-independence meetings were done between Shauri Moyo and Majengo in the clamor of independence. Of course, there is what the Mau Mau did, but also Nairobi had its own Mau Mau, who used to meet here and were rounded up into concentration camps from Ziwani down in Kamkunji up until the side of Karyoko, to what we now know today as Uhuru Gardens. Many of them lost their lives. This is a historic place, and I'm sure wherever they are, Thomas Joseph Mboya is proud of you today for doing this for the people of Shauri Moyo and the people of Kamkunji constituency. Your Excellency, we want to thank you because this is not the first time, this is not the second time that you have been in Nairobi with this program of affordable housing. Housing gives people dignity, Housing makes them feel ata hao kweli ni binadamu sawasawa. Asante kwa kukumbuka mahasla wa Nairobi. Ambao pia wanaitaji makao. Isiwe atitumezoea lazima ukiishi mali Nairobi kama hauna pesa. Uishi mali ambapo wakuna cho, mali hakuna stima, mali hakuna maji. Hata mwanainche wa kawaida wa Nairobi anaitaji nyumba ambayo inampatia heshima na hadhi ambayo akonayo. Thank you so much for this program, Excellency.
Your Excellency, as a county government, we have supported this program. We have given all the approvals, and the Waziri will confirm. We have even given waivers to make sure that it is truly affordable housing, and we have given technical assistance as they move along in this program. And I want to recognize uh, SG Mwangi, who is my minister in charge of lands and OUSG, na unamujua yeye ndo mtusaidia sana kwa hii kazi pamoja na timu yake ambao kwa Nairobi County Government. Nimeona nilikuwa nimesahau baba yao ako hapa Waititu. Your Excellency baba yao pia tunafanya kazi na ye kwa ukaribu sana kwa sababu wako katika ile Nairobi eh, Rivers Commission ambapo tutasafisha mito ya Nairobi plus also Nairobi Dam na sio Nairobi River peke yake kuna Madhari River pia tuko na Ngong River all of those are economic frontiers for our people dunia mzima watu huenda pale kuna mto Kenya tunatoroka kwa sababu inanuka that must change and that will change under your administration your excellency your excellency very briefly as uh, my my good friend Mheshimiwa Yusuf who has been an MP here for I think now four terms as he has said your excellency we have challenges in this area and we have spoken to you about them i'm grateful we to connect na waziri wa kawi bwana eh, chirchir in many areas in nairobi kenya power wamekata stima wamekatia wananchi wetu stima wametoa transformers because of illegal connection we have sat down with engineer muli and the team at kenya power tukamwambia if you can't beat them join them wale ambao wana connect your stima tuwaite pamoja to a register so that we give them the power to distribute because ukikata hiyo stima na ukitoa while you are doing a last mile connection unaongezea watu stima hata yule mwananchi ambaye anataka kulipia stima hapati nafasi ya kulipia hiyo stima but if we bring these people together tuambie hii ndio njia mtafanya you will be our distributors and we give them good materials hata zile moto unasikia Nairobi kila wiki mbili zitapungua because now they will not use substandard materials they will not use bad cabling and they will distribute this electricity to the people it cannot be that in 2022 in the capital city of kenya kuna watu wanatumia mshuma kuna watu wanatumia mafuta ta kuona and we are saying that we want to create a city of order and dignity your excellency we ask that you help us hasten that process ukienda blue estate nafikiri imekuwa zaidi ya mwaka mmoja bila stima sasa hizi biafra na kinyago pia kuna shida hiyo Tunaomba tuweze kutatua hiyo kwa niaba ya wananchi wetu. Jambo la pili your excellency ambayo najua pia tumezungumza ni mambo ya title deeds. As a county government we have processed around 7000. In fact kulikuwa na 2000 imefanywa mbeleni we have processed 7000 lakini shida ambayo tumekuwa nayo kidogo bwana waziri ya hiyo ya ardhi sasa utusaidie utufungulie hizo titles so that your excellency you can come and launch those titles. Those titles will help these people. Hata hapa Kinyago kuna settlement. Itawasaidia kuweza kupata mkopo, kuweza kufanya biashara. Kiambu Dandora tumemaliza titles zimebaki hapo. Tafadhali just give us that, you know, tufungulie hiyo. Na najua ulimwamrisha bwana Nixon Kori na waziri tuharakishe ili tutoe hizo wananchi wengi zaidi waingie katika hiyo system pia watulipe rates because hawezi kutulipa saa hizi wakati ambapo hawana hizo eh, hati uh, miliki. Ya tatu na ya mwisho excellency. Hapa tuko na kitongoji ama maeneo inaitwa Kiambio. Your excellency Kiambio slum ambapo mheshimiwa Nixon na represent. For a long time any development that we want to do inasimamishwa na jeshi. Tunajua Airbase iko na ilikuwa na kazi yake. In fact your excellency Airbase was originally meant for evacuation of the president in times of an emergency but size your excellency na your traffic is ili ukijaribu kutumia hiyo route itakuwa ni mbaya can we rethink this air base issue development has been limited hakuna shule hata moja hapo ya serikali hospitali tunataka kujenga tunaambiwa tusiweke barabara tunataka kutengeneza ambayo itasaidia hata traffic ya kwenda utering ikue hapo tunasimamishwa in fact around isili which is a huge economic area in fact uchumi ya isili inashinda hata ya Rwanda lakini nyumba haizi enda above a certain height please it is the 21st century 2022 tafadhali turuhusu tujenge juu 
tuende juu zaidi tukuje as a county government we will put in what it takes but the amazing kenyans private developers who have ideas that can actually bring up the economy of not just Isili, but also Kiambuyu and the entire Kampunji constituency, which is one of the richest places in Nairobi. Now, by your excellency, you can help us rethink, rethink that arrangement that we have there. And I know you as the commander-in-chief, the commander-in-chief of the defense forces. We ni amri na ni salute na utaona development. your excellency, utaona. Nikimalizia, I want to report to your excellency uli, uli tuamrisha na ukatupatia direction na mambo ya kupanda miti. Hawa vijana wetu wengi hawana kazi. Tumefuraya kwamba katika hii project peke yake, karibu vijana elfu ine, watapata nafasi na iwe ni vijana wa hapa kwanza. Ndo wapate nafasi ya kufanya kazi. Lakini leo tumekuwa na mkutano ambapo najua na asubuhi sikuweza kufika deputy governor alikuwa na wewe hapo kwa hiyo mambo ya digital data because we are sitting together tumeita police tumekana administration police uh, training college commandant tumekana GSU commandant tumekuwa na KFS ambao wanatusaidia pia na mambo ya seedlings and we are doing a multi agency team that will plant 10 million trees in Nairobi county na hiyo ni vijana wetu watafanya hiyo kazi watafaidika Mavijana si mko tayari? Na kina mama mko tayari? Ama amwezi hiyo kazi? Si mnaweza? Because we must green Nairobi. Your Excellency ukiangalia Nairobi tofauti ya hapa na Karen ni miti tu. Ni miti tu. Tukipanda miti unaweza kuja u relax hapo Kayole na ufikirie uko mudhaiga. We can be able to do it and we shall do it together with our young people of Nairobi. Your Excellency Asante sana tunaomba usitoke kuja Nairobi kututembelea. Your Excellency tulikuona Kisumu. Ulikuwa na viongozi wote. Walikuja pamoja. Hata Urengo alikuwa hapo. Hata Gladys Wanga. Hata watu wa Tibim wote walikuwa. Sisi Nairobi siasa tumeachana nayo. Kubali nilete hao MCs wote wa Nairobi, wa bunge wote wa Nairobi, wa UDA, wa ODM, wa Wiper Senator Wetu, women rep, we come and just talk development. Because the people they represent are the people you're leading. Nairobi hakuna njaa ya mluyu ya tafauti na ya mjaluo. Hakuna. Hakuna njaa ya mkamba tafauti na ya mkikuyu. Our problems are the same. What we want is to unite all of us behind you. Na tukifanya hivyo, ata wale wanataka mandamano watakosa watu wakufanya mandamano. Kwa sababu watu watakuwa busy. Watakuwa busy wakifanya kazi ya excellency. Ama ni aje watu wangu wa Nairobi? Sini hivo? Sini kazi tunataka? Sini mboka tunataka? Ukiona mkutano inaito Tuesday. A Tuesday afternoon mkutano ya siyasa inaito na inaja. Ni shida na ninja. Hawa vijana wakonayo. Tunaomba utuleta tu sote pamoja. Ya excellency ntamalizia hapo. Wacha ni mkaribisha sasa waziri wetu Zak. Ili aje atuambie mipango ya serikali kuu. Karibu sana waziri. Um, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Rigadi Gashagwa. Excellency Governor wa Nairobi County, Deputy Governor, viongozi wote ambao mko hapa, mabibi na mabwana hamjambo. Your Excellency mwanzo ni kushukuru sana kwa kupata muda huu ili kuweza kuja kuzindua mradi ambao ni wa maana sana katika sehemu hii ya, ya Nairobi. Nakumbuka uh, ni wiki moja iliyopita uh, Your Excellency tulienda kule Ruiru na pia tukazindua uh, muradi mwingine kama huu na hiyo ni dalili tosha kwamba your excellency unajali maswali maswala ya watu kuishi katika uh, sehemu ambazo zina heshima sehemu ambazo ni za kukubalika your excellency kama wizara tumeshikana kabisa na the county government 
I want to report to you that the beginning of this week, tulipatana na committee ya lands, housing and urban development ya council of governors, na tukaketi chini, na tukaweza kukua na mpangilio ambao utaweza kusaidia uh, mradi huu wa affordable housing uweze kuendelea bila tatizo lolote katika sehemu zote za nchi hii yetu. Mwanzo kabisa tuliona jambo ambalo ni la muhimu ni kuwa na haki miliki ya mahali kote ambapo tunaanza miradi hii. Kwa hivyo kabla tuje mahali popote kuzindua mradi we, we make sure your excellency that the, the, the land has a title and I want to confirm that already we have a title deed for this land. Kwa hivu wapata kuwa na jambololote ambalo litaweza kututatiza, tusiweze kuendelea. Your Excellency, we've been going around the country as a ministry and miradi kama hii inaendelea katika sehemu nyingi hapa nchini and I want to report that we are still rolling more uh, projects of a similar nature because we want to make sure that the affordable housing agenda is realized not only in Nairobi and other major towns but everywhere mahalakote ambapo wananchi wa nchi hii wanaishi so your excellency we want to thank you we want to thank in particular his excellency the governor uh, of Nakuru. Nairobi County ameweza kuwa na sisi katika mambo yote mipangilio yote ambayo tunafanya and after this week's meeting with the Council of Governors uh, Committee on Lands and uh, Housing and Urban Development we are going to see a lot of changes we are going to be given land by the county government so that sote kama wananchi tuweze kuishi uh, katika nyumba ambazo zina heshima. So your excellency without much ado nitaomba nimwalike deputy president uh, Rigathi Gashagwa aweze kuonge, kutuongelesha kisha baadaye amwalike rais. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya, Waziri Wetu, Governor Wetu, Bwana Sakaja, na watu ya Nairobi. Nairobi, hoi! Happy New Year! Your Excellency, we are always proud to accompany you around the country as you champion this country's development. Your Excellency, it's only early this morning that you arrived back from the outside world where you had gone to look for assistance for this country and even before the day ends you are here on matters development your excellency for those of us who work under you you have set a very fast pace and i must admit most of us i included are finding it difficult to keep up with you just allow us tutazoea pole pole kuendelea na wewe vile unatukimbisha because it is for the good of this country your excellency matters affordable housing are exciting to all of us one because of the aim and the objective of restoring the dignity of our people but most importantly for creating job opportunities Umesikia hapa tu kuna shida ya kibarua, si ndio? Kwa hivyo huu muradi utasaidia sana vijana wetu na hata juu ya vijana hata wamama wapate kazi kwa hii muradi. Na kwa hivyo tunamuuliza kwa heshima contractor kwa hii muradi usitoe wafanyikazi nje hapa. Waacha tu watu wa kule hapa wa kule hapa karibu wasaidike. Si iko namna hiyo? Na hata wamama pia wapatiwe nafasi. Na nyinyi wamama wacha pia ni shauri nyinyi. Hao bwana zenu wakipata kazi hapa. Mujue wale wako na mabwana. Na wale na wale wako na sponsor. Na wale wako na boyfriend. Sasa nyinyi mnapanga panga siku ya mshahara ikilipwa mnakaribia. 
Si ndio? Mnakaa kari? Dio wakipokea mnapata haki yenu. Msiwache iende yote. Kama ni Saturday kutoka saa kumi saa tisa mnakaribia. Dio wale wakipata mnachukua haki yenu mnaendelea mbele. Your Excellency tunafurahia sana huu mpango wa affordable housing kwa sababu ya ajira. Kwa sababu mheshimiwa rais tuko na shida jana nilikuwa Muranga na tuko na shida ya illicit brews and drugs kwa watoto wetu. Na hiyo shida your excellency ni kubwa. Na vile tumesema pale Muranga na tunarudia. Na nyinyi watu ya nation na wengine kazi yenu ni kukoroga vile tumesema so that you can portray the government in bad light. Because mulijaribu kutupiga siku ya uchaguzi mukashindwa. What we have saying and we repeat our officers will fight illicit brew. Lakini businesses that are licensed hakuna mtu anaweza pegana nazo but ile illicit brews na ile bangi kwa sababu hakuna mtu amepatia license lazima mupambana nayo tuokoe hao watoto wetu what we have requested the governors and the word is to request we cannot order them is to consider bar and restaurant ile nauza pombe 24 hours ipunguzwe ikuwe kidogo zile zingine zikuwe bar za kawaida sa kutoka saa kumi na moja, mpaka saa tano. we ukitaka kunywa ukunywe saa tano, uende nyumbani asubuhi kichwa iko sawa sawa uende kazini sio sio tumekubaliana so ours ours this administration of william ruto kazi yetu ni kuchunga na kupanua biashara na ni lazima tusaidie wafanyabiashara wote wapanue biashara zao So wewe bwana speaker anaona ungali umechanganyikiwa. Jubilee ilizama kitambo. Unaonekana una habari. Or you are still in denial. <laughs> si jubilee ilizama. Sasa serikali ni ya William Ruto ya UDA na Kenya kwanza. Na tunataka kusema Governor umesema mzuri. Unataka ulete hao viongozi waogee na rais. Lakini wapita kwangu kwanza tujadiliane kwa sababu kwa sababu wiki iliyopita kwa maandamano mkubwa ya wengine alisema hatambui William Ruto kama president na walikuwa pale wakapiga makofi so wapita kwangu wa confirm ya kwamba wanamtabua William Ruto kama rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya si iko namna hiyo eh hey. Kwa sababu kwa sababu watu hawezi kaa pale wanasema wamtabui rais na wanapiga makofi alafu tunachukua tunawapeleka kwa rais si lazima tu wakaguye kwanza mnataka tu waweke kwa kilo kwa latili na muna hii mmenipatia hiyo kazi so governor hiyo watu yako wakina babu uletea kwangu kwanza ni wapime ni pime ni pime nikiona wako sawa sawa tusukume kwa rais wetu and we want to say na tunataka tuseme namna hii wale ambaye wanasema hawamtabui rais hiyo ni doto waote waote tena na tena na tena doto ikiisha watakuta rais wa Kenya ni William Samoe unajua sasa sasa mimi nauliza hata wewe ukisema utabui rais na umefanya maandamano then from there what next from there what next si maneno imeishia hapo so tunataka kuambia viongozi tafadhali uchaguzi uliisha wa Kenya waliamua mchana mkaenda supreme court mkaambiwa hamuna case mtulie mngoje tukutane na nyinyi 2027 wakati huu mupatie rais nafasi afanyie wa Kenya kazi na huyu rais wetu anajaribu kweli ama uongo si anangangana sasa wale kama hawakutosheka hiyo ni yao lakini waendelee kuota na ukiota doto si lazima uamuke asubuhi si unakuta maneno ni vile waliwacha before uenda kulala iko namna hiyo kwa hivyo rais wetu vile tumekuhakikishia wewe ngangana na hii kazi wa Kenya walikupatia 
wenye kuamua na wale watakupatia marking scheme ni hawa raia wewe shughulika na hawa raia wa excellence na ile kazi unafanya ya fertilizer dio tupunguze bei ya unga uendelee na hiyo dio kazi muhimu kwa wakenya kwa, kwa hivyo kwa hayo mengi ningetaka msimame kwa makofi tumkaribishe rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya mheshimiwa William Samoe Ruto Aya asante sana tafadhali tuketi tafadhali tuketi Mheshimiwa Deputy President Mheshimiwa Governor wetu waziri ma PS wa bunge wa bunge wa county ndugu wananchi wa Shauri Moyo na Nairobi hamjambo Nairobi hoye Bwana Yesu asifiwe Kwanza mimi nataka nimshukuru Mungu ametupatia nafasi Leo tumefika hapa Islands tumefika Kamkunji tumefika hapa Shauri Moyo kwa sababu ya mambo ya maendeleo ya sehemu hii Mimi kwanza nataka niwashukuru watu wa hapa Shauri Moyo na watu wa Kamkunji na watu wa Nairobi kwa sababu tuliomba kura zenu na mlitupatia asante sana narudia kusema asante sana na tulikubaliana na nyinyi ya kwamba hii Nairobi na Kenya tutaibadilisha na tutaibadilisha kwa mipango na kwa miradi na ndio sababu hiyo leo tumefika hapa ili tuweze kuendeleza yale tulikubaliana na nyinyi tuliwaambia kila mwaka for the next five years kila mwaka tutajenga minimum nyumba 1200 Kenya ili kwa muda wa miaka tano tujenge nyumba milioni moja. Mimi nafurahi ya kwamba hiyo safari tumeianzisha tayari tumepanga karibu ekari elfu nne katika miji tofauti tofauti tunafanya kazi na counties ambao tayari wameungana na sisi counties 30 na tisa ambao wako tayari na wako katika hii mpango wa affordable housing kwa sababu tunataka kupatia kila mkenya nafasi ya kuishi mahali ambapo panafaa mahali ma, 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 nyumba ambayo iko na stima iko na maji iko na choo iko na barabara iko na shule na iko na soko karibu mimi nataka muelewe hivi kazi hii ya affordable housing mnaona tunaikaza kabisa kwa sababu tunajua itatusaidia mambo matatu ya muhimu jambo la kwanza itatupatia makao hapa Nairobi wa Kenya zaidi ya milioni mbili wanaishi katika slum eh, informal settlements hawa wa Kenya wote wanaishi mahali ambapo hakuna barabara sawa sawa hakuna maji hakuna choo hakuna stima na ndio tunasema hapa Nairobi awamu yetu ya kwanza ya mambo ya affordable housing ndio tumeweka msingi na tumeweka mkazo mkubwa katika mji wetu wa Nairobi hii mjengo ambayo tunaanzisha hapa leo ni the third phase ya program yetu ya Nairobi mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa Nairobi tutashirikiana tayari we have identified mahali ambazo tutajenga nyumba za hapa Nairobi na tutahakikisha ya kwamba watu wa Nairobi wanakuwa wa kwanza katika mambo ya ajira katika kazi kama hii tunaanzisha hapa mbali na kuwa na makao ni nafasi ya sisi kupanga ajira ya hawa vijana nimewasikiza kwa makini mumesema ya kwamba tatizo kubwa ya watu wa shauri moyo hakuna kazi Sini kweli hapa katika mjengo huu 
tutakuwa na watu zaidi ya elfu tatu wataamuka asubuhi na jioni for the next two years kwa miaka miwili ijayo mtaamuka hapa kazini na mtaenda nyumbani na riziki kwa sababu huyu contractor wetu tumekubaliana hakuna fundi anatoka sehemu nyingine hakuna mtu anatoka sehemu nyingine plamba ama mtu electrician ama yule mason ama carpenter wote watakuwa watu wa shauri moyo watu wa kamukunji tunaelewana jameni jambo la tatu ambayo inatufanya tufanye hii program ya housing ni kwa sababu tunataka kupanua biashara katika mjengo huu mbali na huyu contractor mkubwa mumesikia kwamba tutakuwa na micro enterprises small and medium enterprises ambao hii meza mmeona hapo tutaweka sahihi mkataba saa hizi tunataka watu wa jua kali wale ambao watatutengenezea madirisha wale ambao watatutengenezea milango tuandikiane na, na wao hapa watutengenezee milango elfu ine na mia ine na watutengenezee madirisha elfu kumi na ine tuhakikisha kwamba vijana wa Islands hata na wao wanapata kisehemu ya hii construction ambayo itaendelea hapa pia na wao wajumuike katika biashara zao katika ujenzi ambao utaendelea hapa vile vile hapa Islands hapa makongeni nimekubaliana na governor na watu wa Nairobi wanione Thursday kwa sababu hapa tuko na mradi ya nyumba karibu elfu hamsini ambayo tunataka kujenga just here in makongeni na ambayo itatupatia nafasi ya kazi zaidi ya elfu mia moja. wale vijana wote mnaona wana wanaangaika hapa tunataka kuwapeleka pale watujengee nyumba elfu hamsini hapa makongeni imebaki mambo machache kutoelewana kidogo na nimesema hii Thursday nataka kutatua hiyo maneno ndio contractors kwa sababu wako tayari wale wa kutusaidia kujenga hiyo manyumba wako tayari wako na pesa tayari ile confusion kidogo imeto, imetokea tunataka kutatua because we want to change the city of Nairobi tunaelewana jameni mbali na hiyo tuko na mipango ingine mingi ya city yetu ya Nairobi na as we made a commitment to the people of Nairobi that we are going to change the face of Nairobi and we are going to eliminate ile slums yote iko katika mji wetu wa Nairobi in due time we will change them into estates that are livable where Kenyans can live with dignity and respect tunaelewana jameni vile vile mimi nataka mjue ya kwamba hii mradi mkia tunajenga tuko na mikataba na county 39 tayari na tutafanya vile tunafanya hapa in all the other counties because we want to transform our nation hapa kiambiu ni slum kubwa manyumba ni ya mabati watu wa kiambiu nataka muende muwaeleze hasla amesema tutabadilisha manyumba yao ya mabati tutajenga nyumba kama ile tunajenga hapa pale kiambiu kwa sababu mimi ndio amiri jeshi mkuu wale KDF ni Kenya Defense Force kumaanisha wao ni wa Kenya pia na wanajua umuhimu wa city ya Nairobi tayari nimeketi chini na wao na tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutabadilisha city ya Nairobi ikiwemo Kamkunji ikiwemo Isli ikiwemo hiyo Kiambiu so hiyo estate mimi nataka nimwambie bwana Hinga na bwana Njeru ambaye ni waziri wetu muanze kupanga sasa mambo ya Kiambiu vile tutajenga na tutahakikisha wewe mheshimiwa ukiwa hapo tunaelewana tutahakikisha kwamba watu wa kwanza watakao pata nyumba mzuri yenye imejengwa vizuri iko na maji na choo na taa na kila kitu na barabara na shule ni watu wa Kiambiu watakuwa namba one. alafu tutapanga wa Kenya wengine baadaye tunaelewana ndugu zangu 
So Kiambu will be our next phase. And I want proper planning the same way we are doing in Kibra. We want to do it in Kiambu so that we can salvage the millions of people. I'm told 30,000 people live in Kiambu where there is no proper planning, there is no road, there is no uh, hospital, there is no school. Haiwezekani katikati ya mji wa Nairobi eti kuna mahali hakuna shule. Ati hakuna uh, hospitali. Hiyo ni makosa makubwa sana and we are going to rectify it because we want to do the right thing for the people of the city of Nairobi. Mimi vile vile nataka niwaambie hapa kwa sababu hapa hawa watu wangu wa wizara walikuwa wamepe, wamepanga tujenge nyumba gorofa 16. Lakini nimewaambia hapa Nairobi ardhi ni kidogo sana na haipatikani kwa uraisi. So tumekubaliana manyumba hapa sio gorofa 16 ni gorofa 25. Nataka tuelewane na huyu contractor si umesikia wewe bwana contractor 25 stories tumekubaliana na wewe enda, inga enda tubadilisha sasa mchoro ikae sawa sawa huyu governor wetu sakaja ataweka tik wananchi wa Nairobi waendelee kujengewa <coughs> tunaelewana jambo la pili mimi nataka nyumba 50% nataka munisikize vizuri 50% ya nyumba hapa ambazo zitajengwa iwe chini ya shilingi elfu saba mtu wanalipa na nyumba ikue yake baada ya miaka kumi ama miaka kumi na tano. I want us to agree. Tunaelewana? Na ile ya chini iwe shilingi elfu tano. Kila mwezi mtu walipe, ndio mambo iendelee mbele. Mimi nataka ni waulize, tafadhali. Tunataka hapa kiambiu. Pale kiambiu kama mtu wanalipa 4,000 nyumba yake ya rent. Tunataka nyumba ijengwe pale ya 4,000 mortgage. Baada ya meka kuminatana wa maishirini, iyo nyumba iwe ya mwenyewe, aendelee na kuishi hapa. That is the nation we want to build. Mbali na kujenga hii mahali, tuko na shule hapa ya ishima. Sinikweli? Tumekubaliana kwa sababu watu watakuja kuishi hapa na watakuwa na watoto. Ile shule iko pale, haiwezi kutosha watoto wote. Tumekubaliana contractor ataongeza shule madarasa nane hapo katika Heshima Primary. Tumekubaliana vile vile our, our Lady of Mercy Secondary ajenge dormitory na ajenge madarasa mengine manne ili watoto watakao kuja kuishi hapa wapate mahali ya kwenda kusomea pale. Tumekubaliana vile vile na mheshimiwa waanze kuandika vizuri ndio ufuatilie. Tumekubaliana our lady of mercy primary school pia tujenge madarasa manane kati kupitia kwa mradi huu ndio watoto pia wapate mahali ya kusoma. Hapa hapa katika mjengo huu tutakuwa na soko ambaye tutapatia county government. Tutakuwa na soko hapa, soko tatu yenye gorofa ine kila soko in this place. Mama mboga na wale wengine wote wawe na mahali pasafi, watauza chakula, watafanya biashara na tubadilishe sura ya city ya Nairobi. Hapa hapa tumesha kubaliana na county government ya Nairobi katika market yetu kubwa hapa. Situbaliana bwana governori. Kabisa. <laughs> Hiyo soko tumesema tunatengeneza title deed. Saa hizi ya hiyo, hiyo soko ndio watu wawache mchezo. Na tukimaliza kutengene, kutengeneza title deed ya hiyo soko tutaweka pesa ya kujenga soko huyu hinga anajua what to do. Hii soko ya hapa. Kwa sababu we want a modern city that is organized, a modern city that has dignity and that has respect for the people who live in the capital city of Kenya. Hii city haiwezi kuwa capital city kama tunakaa vile tumekaa tu kienyeji namna hii. Sijui kama tunaelewana. Tuko pamoja? Vile vile mmeniambia kuhusu Kinyago Kanugu. Mmesema hakuna title deed. 
Bwana Njeru. Wewe ndio waziri, mimi nimekupatia nime kalamu. 90 days unipatie report kwa nini hao watu hawana title deeds. 90 days. Kama ni survey, huyu governor atatoa pesa tufanye survey. Alafu tupatiane title deeds wananchi wasonge mbele na tukae chonjo. Mwisho mimi nataka niwaambie vile vile ninajua tuko na matatizo na Kenya Power. Imezima sehemu nyingi Nairobi. Nilipatiwa niliwapatia amri ya kwamba wasuluhishe hiyo maneno na county government ya Nairobi. Mimi nataka nirudie tena hapa leo ya kwamba watu wale wa Kenya Power waketi chini na county government ya Nairobi tujue kama ni blue estate kama ni sehemu gani ya Nairobi mahali popote ambapo pamekatiwa stima tujue ni kwa sababu gani stima irudishwe na wananchi wapangwe vile watalipia hiyo stima wenyewe how do you penalize how do you penalize somebody who is using electricity na hujaenda kumuuliza akulipe akakataa kama hujaenda kumuuliza akulipe akakataa unakata stima kwa sababu gani Si ni kazi ya Kenya Power kujua nani ana ako na stima. Waende kwa kila nyumba yenye iko stima, wawekee kila mtu mita. Alafu waanze kulipisha. Sio kama tunaelewana. It is as simple as that. If a citizen is already connected to electricity by whatever means, go and meter the power that he is consuming and charge him or her so that if they don't pay then you can disconnect when they have a meter in their house lakini kwenda kuzima a whole estate kwenda kuzima kiwanja mzima hiyo ni kiburi yenye ya kupindukia mimi sijui wanafikiria namna gani sijui kama tunaelewana jameni tunaelewana so my good friends at the Kenya Power and Lighting Company it is your responsibility to connect Kenyans to electricity if you find that a citizen has been collected has been connected to electricity by whatever means go and put a meter and begin to charge them don't switch off a whole estate so you come at melewana jameni hiyo kazi ndio tunataka tufanye mimi nataka niwaeleze watu wa Kanairo ya kwamba hii mpango tutafanya pamoja hawa viongozi wote sisi tulishasema tayari ya kwamba sisi tuko tayari kufanya kazi na viongozi wote nimeona eh, ndugu yangu eh, eh, mjumbe wa hapa bwana Hassan amesema ya kwamba tufanye kazi ya maendeleo kwani iko kazi nyingine imebaki kani si ile asiasa tulimaliza is the only outstanding business atuwezi At, kuombana kura sahi si kura tulimaliza so there is no other job for us to do so hakuna haja ya kuqualify ati tufanye tu kazi ya maendeleo hapana because hakuna kazi nyingine hakuna kazi nyingine ya kufanya ile imebaki sasa ni ya ni ile ya maendeleo si ndio ama namna gani wadosi eh hey, ile kazi nyingine tulimaliza si ni kweli hawa majamaa mengine tu wanajaribu jaribu pia unajua sasa kujaribu naye ni hivyo tu kuna problem so <laughs> watakuja kutulia so waambie wa relax kidogo na waje waache <laughs> unajua wa, 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 nipange hii kazi kazi hii walishindwa nasikia <laughs> kazi kazi walishindwa si ndio mpaka unga ikafika 230 saa hizi waache niweke mutaratara mzuri ndio tuzalishe chakula si tunaelewana tu, tulifika hapa mahali unga ilifika 230 kwa sababu ya kukosa mpango so wa, wa, tulize boli nipange kazi waache hizo zao Sijui kama tunaelewana. Eh. Hey, unga haitoki kwa shelf, unga haitoki kwa supermarket. Ni mahindi inapandwa shambani. 
Saa hizi napanga wakulima milioni tano nimewasajili. Nimewapatia mbegu na mbolea. Ndiyo tuzalishe chakula ya kutosha. Wawache kimbele mbele nipange maneno. Hii hawawezi na hawajui. Jiwe kama tunaelewana jameni. Tuko pamoja. So watulize boli. Ya. Yeah. Na Kenya tunasongesha mbele tukiwa pamoja. Mimi nataka niwashukuru sana watu wa Nairobi na mjue ya kwamba I will make sure I will make sure that every citizen of the Republic of Kenya is part and parcel of the development of Kenya irrespective of how they voted. Hiyo mimi nitafanya. Kwa sababu hakuna rais mwingine wa Kenya ni mimi. Si ndivyo? So nitahakikisha nitahakikisha Bwana speaker usikuwe na wasiwasi nitahakikisha ya kwamba kila mkenya anashughulikiwa na serikali ya Kenya ile mimi siwezi kufanya ni kukubali ati watu wachache ati wanilete ati wanibebe ati nishughulike na mambo yao na mambo ya familia yao ati na biashara yao ni wache kazi ya wananchi milioni hamsini hiyo sitafanya that one i will not do eh tukubaliane tu mapema ama namna gani jameni situshughulike na wakenya wote tushughulike na kazi ya wakenya wote sasa mimi nataka niwaulize watu wa Kanairo sasa nyinyi wangwana watoto wenu mumewapeleka bunge kule Arusha mumewapeleka wengine ngambo alafu watoto wa hawa wa Kenya ati mnawapeleka Kamukunji ati na Chagaranda ati waende watu wapigane mawe ah bwana kwani mnatuona tuko wafala kiasi gani yani mnachukulia wa Kenya wako wafala kiasi gani mambo ya watoto wenu na biashara zenu mnapanga alafu ya hawa wengine mnataka kuwapiganisha hapa that i will not allow we want the children of every Kenyan. Mtoto wa kila mkenya apate nafasi sawa na mkenya mwingine. Ama namna gani jameni? Kana hilo tunaelewana? Na ndio mnajua hatuwezi kwenda hiyo barabara wanataka ati ya kugombana na wao sijui nini. Barabara mimi tumeshika ni hii. Tunapanga ajira ya hawa vijana, tutajenga hizi manyumba tutahakikisha uh, kwamba tunazalisha chakula tutaweka agro processing tutaweka value addition tuta digitize government services tuhakikisha kwamba kila mkenya anashughulika anaweza kupata huduma ya serikali bila ya kuangaika that is what we are going to do for the citizens of the republic of kenya my good friends wale mnafikiri ya kwamba mnaweza kututisha ati na kutufanyia sijui nini mimi nataka niwaambie tulizeni boli mambo bado. Eh. Na mtajua hamujui. Tunaelewana jameni? Eh, namna hiyo. Hii Kenya si ya watu mbili tatu sijui. Hapana, hapana. Hata mahasala hawa wako na, na wako na nafasi ya kupata mahali ya kuishi hapa Nairobi. Nyumba mzuri, iko na maji, iko na stima, tuendelee mbele. Tuko pamoja Kanairo? Tuendelee na hii mutaratara? Iende sawa? Mimi nawapenda sana na watakia baraka ya Mungu. Thank you very much. God bless you.